Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and in this video I will talk about the most common metaphysical reasons of menstrual or PMS pain. You know, there's also a part two of this video that deals with the effects of magic and astral technology for the advanced practitioners, you know, on the same subject. So, but first we will do a guided meditation where you will do an energy healing on your ovaries and which will then be followed by a find the root cause and release as much as possible meditation. And if you are uh, watching this, you are waking up and ask that you will absorb whatever knowledge is for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes for you. Amen. So, in Chinese medicine, for thousands of years, as well as Louise Hayes, more recently, have proclaimed that emotions store in the energy bodies of certain organs, like anger stores in the liver, sadness in the lungs, and coronavirus, maybe. Mm -hmm etc. So, according to Lise Hayes, your ovaries represent points of creation and creativity. I mean, basically making babies, you know, the female archetype, you could say. And in my opinion, in the menstrual pain that you are experiencing, you are connecting to your own personal trauma from this and as well as past lives that you experienced, you know, in the role of a woman and or you also the collective trauma of womanhood. Does that ring a bell? Does that resonate with you? Uh, so, so many times in my spiritual healing sessions I have felt the pain of my clients ovaries in uh, my hands, you know, doing a formal 3D sessions, you know, where I hoover my hands, you know, over the ovaries, you know, and, um, you know, I could feel it in the palms of my hands. Uh, a few times I had to stand beside somebody and I felt the pain in my ovaries. And uh, when I, like, I, I pass my hand over, you know, the aura, the edges of the aura, you know, where the ovaries are, you know, then there is a bump or a spike, um, you know, and of course in a Skype session, you know, I do not feel it in my hands, but in my body again, and, you know, where the ovaries or the uterus should be, you know, if I had a woman's body. So, um, I resonate you know, with my trauma that I had in my female incarnations, you know, um, you know, so this is my personal uh, detector, you know, this is something for your healers to know, you know, it's a tool. So, in my probably thousands of past life regressions that I have performed by now, I look into the corridors of time and, you know, quite privileged to see you know, some patterns of the matrix in modern terms, or the workings of Maya, you know, in an Eastern understanding. And uh, let me tell you, this is a time where the goddess energy awakens, or has to awaken, for a lot of very good reasons. But then, um, there's so much negative and false conditioning and trauma you know, as perpetuated, you know, by local social and religious norms, biases, prejudices, you know, as you probably are, you know, too well aware of. So, I mean, according to modern statistics, you know, one out of three women, you know, has been raped nowadays. And I'm quite sure that there has been also an abuse of children, you know. Uh, of course, that is... Uh, barely recollected or talked about by the victims, but it does a great lot of harm, you know, to our emotional and spiritual faculties. 
So during menses, you know, women are also plugged into mass consciousness of women, you know. So the systematic suppression of the goddess principle for maybe 4,000 years, give it, you know. Uh, so, give, you know, give or take in, in different cultures, you know. Uh, but, you know, all this discrimination according to gender and not qualification, so um, there's a lot of trauma there, you know. Uh, that's in the collective consciousness of women. And, well, you know, and if you are maybe a male-hating feminist, <laughs> I hope you're not. Um, also, you know, you have had probably many male incarnations and have done things to women that you are experiencing now, in, you know, in the reverse role. So in other words, you know, you weep as you sow, or you're experiencing, you know, the other end of the stick now, which is, of course, no excuse for men to misbehave. Yeah, absolutely not. But, you know, in so many past life regressions, you know, um, we, we see that, you know, we've mostly done also to others, in many cases, you know, uh, what is being done to us. So, you know, you work on both sides of the fence, you know, get a balanced experience. So, uh, me being in a body of a male and being an empath, I kind of understand how you have suffered over and over and over again. So yet, dear sisters also, please understand that we and the male bodies have been wrecked over the coals of war, the hunt, heavy labor and all kinds of other male related stresses. You know, statistically we live ten years less than you. And uh, we are heavily wounded and need the kindness and understanding from both polarities. You know, so we are all wounded. We are all wounded. You know, for generations and generations and generations. So ultimately we all want a healing of our male and female aspects and because we had male and female incarnation it is very beneficial for women to do, you know, um, consider that they may have been males too and for men, you know, also to do the skada meditations. <laughs> well, my dear friends, if you are residing in a human body now, please understand that a great part of the human drama, you know, it is you being a luge machine, you know, uh, and that is kind of also maybe in many ways the dynamic of the human sexual duality. So, you know, love songs <laughs> come to mind. Love is the drug and, you know, we are all addicted so to a love. Mm -hmm. So, before we go on to the Garda meditation, I want to point out some principles that I found will support the success of any guided meditation. Um, so, sit in a comfortable office chair and balance your body so that everything stacks up nicely. Mm -hmm. It's uh, very difficult to enjoy bliss when your back hurts or when you're slumping. Mm -hmm and uh, use earbuds or headphones to cancel out outside distraction and also for better sound quality. Mm -hmm. And smile like an idiot <coughs> and reside in your heart. Uh, you will not have access to higher dimensions unless you vibrate at a certain love frequency. And br breathe at a pace so that you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils like And uh, you do not have to repeat my affirmations, just think or say Amen uh, when you say Amen. But uh, you mean it, you know, uh, just say Ho or Yes, but, uh, you know, it is your intent, it is your life. And be in a childlike state of innocence during the guarded meditation, you know, pay attention to what pops into your mind, 
but do not judge or try to rationalize at the moment. You know, you can always do that after the meditation, you know. And now, please gently uh, place your hands over your ovaries. And now, close your eyes. And we connect to source, we open up to source. Uh, you know, the source of everything, prime creator, nobody higher. Mm -hmm. And smile, you know, presence of greatness. And also connect to your highest self. And connect to your inner child, that playful aspect of you. And now open up to your spirit guides and to all the incarnations of yours that can help and support you. And also connect to the star tribes, you know, coming from unconditional love that you are incarnated on. And the higher dimensionals that are coming from unconditional love and that are supporting human ascension. You know, you know your angels, the guardian angels, the guardians. And of course, you know, Gaia on the fifth dimension. And of course, the Milky Way galaxy. And we ask that there is no deception that everything works out for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes from this meditation on all timeline, dimensions, incarnation throughout space. And smile like an idiot and just connect with the earth. You know, you can extend gentle roots into her caressing her with your roots and allow her love to flow up into you through the spine, through your legs and thighs up into your heart you know, th th mainly through your spine to rising up into the head uh, and then let it just squirt out on top of the head See how high it can squirt. <laughs> See how high you can go. And now you allow the love of the cosmos to spill down over and through your head, into your shoulders, your heart, through the arms, out the head through the legs and deep into the feet and heels and from there it flows into the earth and you allow this cleansing of your body with these waves of loving chi flowing through and over you and now as you are bathing in this heavenly and earthly nectar, we ask Source and Archangel Michael or anybody else who is qualified to do so, like Lok Shiva for those in the Hindu tradition, to remove as much as possible any Anunnaki, Draco, Grey or other predatory cords and devices and any other technology from every level of our being, any incarnation, all time or dimensions now for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. And Amen, 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 Amen. And just smile and observe the shift in your energy. Mm -hmm and just keep smiling and enjoy it. And now with the increased energy flowing into you, imagine that your heart is like a rosebud or a lotus bloom. 
and this earth love is just opens it up and have it expand in your heart and enjoy it enjoy it enjoy it and now you connect like a column of light and invite as you have to the center of the earth, still smiling at her, and let this rise in you out the top of the head, and you connect that to the center of the Milky Way galaxy. And now it's like liquid light, it starts flowing into you, and it dissolves blobs blobs, blocks or clouds of darkness in your spine wherever it is needed so allow the liquid loving light into your heart now to dissolve any pain or darkness that you can detect smile like an idiot because that's the dial for love Now, if we just keep this flow pattern going, but let the love flow from your heart through the arms, into your hands, through your hands, into your ovaries, and smile like an idiot. Ah, and tell them that you love them, that you care for them that is so sorry that there's so much pain there you feel so sorry about it. and if you have to cry you know just let it rip express the pain even moan or of course not so loud that the SWAT team shows up you know or the neighbors get worried yeah just you know just smile into them it's like little kids that have been abused. You know, just smile and love. Just send love into the ovaries. Or maybe move your hand, you know, to wherever it hurts most. Like maybe the uterus, you know. And just smile into those organs in, the, in that whole area. Where it hurts, you got to smile and move. So now, we ask for the presence of expert ascension teams. We invite them, volunteers, that act for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. You know, and to please arrange for the highest selves of any lost soul aspect, you know, um, that is around you that has, you know, these female traumas you know, to ascend and all those that got attracted you know, for the time being, for this session only though to ascend the ghost as they're being invoked and bring them home to rejoin their soul their highest self, Amen just nod your head in agreement without interrupting your awareness of love. To say again, you know, be asked for any ghost that will come from the past, whatever, to be helped into heaven. That's all. You know, as long as it is for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. So we also ask for the presence of expert healing teams that act for the highest good in divine harmony and the most benevolent outcomes to please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental, spiritual trauma from any incarnation, time or dimension 
to healing energy and upgrade us to our divine blueprint as much as possible. Amen. And you just nod your head in agreement without your awareness of love and smile like an idiot, smile like an idiot and reside in your heart. And now we ask for the presence of our high self. We tune into that and ask it to be pleased in front of us. And we have its his or her love flow into us. Ah. And let's start simple yes or no questions. And whatever pops into your mind, just, you know, take it as such. You can always later on, once you have an overview, you know, after the meditation, analyze it. Okay. So, do I have any trauma from insertive contraceptive devices, like copper spirals, etc., you know, physical implants, that change the body's chemistry and the cycle and rhythms. Yes or no? Uh -huh. And if yes, so we ask that this please cleared from all levels of your being throughout time, incarnations, space. Amen. And ask now, do you have any long-term effects or toxicity, toxicity or toxicity from the anti-baby pill? Yes or no? And again, we ask that this be cleared from us for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And we ask that especially the memory in the body of unnatural false rhythms and all negative consequences on the physical and subtle bodies be cleared. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And now, let's also ask, you know, whether in this, from this or other incarnations, you're carrying trauma from, let's say, the morning after pill, from spells, herbs, or portion, or the likes to stop a child from developing in the womb, you know, which is not technically an abortion. So, do you carry trauma from this, yes or no? And so we asked that trauma to please be cleared so that we become a pure vessel again. Amen, 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 amen. And we also ask that any guilt around this, you know, the emotional trauma, please be cleared. And that um, also the Ascension teams, please rejoin the lost ghosts, you know, of those aborted babies and the desperate mothers, you know, that maybe did not go to heaven due to guilt. Please reunite them with their high self aspect now. Amen. And then please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental and spiritual trauma of them to healing energy and upgrade us to our divine blueprint as much as possible now. Amen.
And if you need longer, you may just pass the recording, you know, press the space key or something. And now let's ask whether you have any trauma from this or past lifetimes for denying childbirth, you know, and many times it must have been for good reasons, you know, poverty, you know, you're in your wars or, you know, many good reasons are there. So, but anyhow, you know, uh, did those denying childbirth leave a negative energetic and emotional memory imprint with you? You know, or, you know, even the decision not to have children at all, you know, do you have trauma around this, yes or no? And if yes, he asked those expert healers and angels to please transmute this trauma, you know, for the babies, for the mothers, and bring those stuck souls, soul aspect home to their high self. Now, amen, amen. And now, ask whether you have any trauma from this or past lifetimes around infertility. You know, in past times this was very, very important for a woman, you know, to have an heir, either for the farm or for the king. <laughs> very crucial. So infertility was probably a trauma for much of you. So do you have trauma around this issue, yes or no? And now we ask our healers to please remove this trauma, you know, from us and the family members that they got traumatized to those circumstances. So, you know, through all dimensions, times, incarnations and places now, amen, 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 amen. <sighs> and now I ask whether you have trauma from being courted excessively or courted in ways, you know, where your sexual energy is being sucked, you know, from people that you had intercourse with in past lifetimes or in this lifetimes. Yes or no? Because this can also very deeply interfere with fertility. So I ask, have you these negative courtings or webbings you know, that is for many, many men, it would be webbings, yes or no. And again, we ask, you know, the best healers, you know, maybe if Mother Mary, she's really good at this, to clear those webbings and cords now. Amen, 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 amen. Throughout our times, incarnations, spaces and dimensions for the highest good. And now ask if you carry any trauma from this or past lifetimes around miscarriages. You know, even sometimes energetic miscarriages, you know, where you think you're pregnant but actually a soul is visiting you and kind of residing in your body. <laughs> you know, those phantom pregnancies. So, uh, do you carry trauma around this, yes or no? Now we ask, you know, the healing experts, the absolute best healing experts for you to please clear this trauma throughout time, dimensions incarnations 
and localities. Ah. And now we ask if you have past of this life trauma around unwanted children. You know, so many times, you know, we got knocked up, maybe raped, you know, or, you know, misused from somebody that did not love us, an authority, or, you know, we were a nun, <laughs> got pregnant, or, you know, it was, uh, or a priestess, so, or we were too poor to afford children, we, you know, they had to starve or we had to give them away so that they just could barely survive. You know, unwanted children, is maybe 50% of kids are not, let's say, wanted, you know, <laughs> where they had sex to get a kid, you know. You just have pleasure, looking for pleasure, and then, you know, there's a kid there. So maybe you were forced into a relationship, so have you, do you carry trauma around unwanted children? Yes or no? And now we ask the expert healers and arrangers, so heavenly arrangers, to please heal those trauma from us as well as those kids and everybody else that got traumatized through our time, incarnations, dimensions, and localities. Amen, 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 amen. And this may take some time, you know, those processes go on automatically till they're finished. we just given the order. You know. <clears throat> and did or do you still have trauma from vows, you know, not to have children or not to have sex, right? This could be anything from uh, you had too many children and your life was just, you know, one big servitude and just exhausting, or you were a nun and really did not want to have sex, you know, and have vows, or you know, again, too many children, or could not afford, or were sick, uh, you know, many, many reasons. But then those vows, many times, or promises, they keep reaching through our time, you know, where they're not appropriate anymore. So do you have damage from this, yes or no? Amen. And so we ask that this please be cleared from us through our time, dimensions, incarnations, and places. Amen, 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 amen. And from those children, too, maybe, that got denied. And now, this is a very common thing, you know, do you have trauma from times where words were spoken like, I wish I didn't have a child, I wish I would have never had children, or I wish I would have never had you, you know? Everything, you know, or maybe trauma where you said this to others in this or past incarnations, you know, in anger, and did a lot of damage. So, or maybe even guardians, you know, not just, you know, your parents or grandparents or your guardians too, you know, something of similar intent. Are you carrying trauma around this? Yes or no? Uh, and ask for how this has been affecting you in this lifetime. And you probably have some memories or some ideas are popping into your mind. All right, and so now we ask the healers to please clear this 
throughout all time, dimensions, incarnations and places. Amen, amen, amen. I now ask if there are any curses and bad wishes unto the womanhood, you know, your womb, your fertility or the coming generations from envious women or men, you know, from the past. So basically ancestral curses, you know, that come through the genetic lines, yes or no. And he asked that this please be cleared now throughout time, dimensions. And now we asked whether we still have emotional forcefulness and longing for having children, you know, because in past lifetimes we weren't able to have children for whatever reason. But we wanted them, you know, like unfulfilled desires from past lifetimes. You know, which is not in balance with this lifetime. Do you have those, yes or no? Uh -huh. And if it's yes, so we ask that this please be cleared and all those ghost and soul fragments associated with this, you know, kids that have been stuck and mothers that keep longing and searching, you know, please be brought home to their higher self. Amen, 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 amen. And now we come into the next theme, you know, not being able to to have kids, many people adopted in this lifetime and past lifetime. And boy, uh, sometimes adaptions did not work out, right? Absolutely did not work out. So are we carrying any trauma from this? Yes or no? And if you do, you apologize to those children and we ask that the trauma be cleared and any ghost associated with this please be brought home to the highest dimensions. Amen, 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 amen. Now another big thing about, you know, woman motherhood is the abandoning of children, you know, because of poverty and starvation or other reasons. Maybe slavery, you know, there were many reasons and it's quite common, you know, and then you create also, besides the guilt around children, you create a, you know, this abandoning <laughs> trauma in the kid too. Yeah. And so, do we carry trauma like this as a child or as a mother, yes or no? And again, we ask that this trauma please be cleared throughout time, dimensions and incarnations. And that all the any ghost and soul fragment that are still left from those trauma to please be brought home and reunited with the soul. Amen, 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 amen. Now, of course, there was also trauma probably from children being taken away from their mother. Mm -hmm. You know, against the mother's wishes, you know, big, big trauma, right? So, do you carry trauma from this, from this in past lifetimes, yes or no? And we release this now. We ask the, also the angels to please clear the trauma from those children and liberate them 
and just bring all the ghosts, the mothers, the kids, you know, soul fragments and ghosts, bring them home. And they're going to be happy. Amen, 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 amen. I now ask whether you have trauma around human trafficking, especially also, of course, child trafficking. You know, as a trafficker, as well as being the one transported, shipped around. Yes or no? And again, we ask for forgiveness. And we give forgiveness. We ask the healers and transmitters to please clear all the trauma through our time, dimension, places, and incarnations. And also bring the soul fragments home, reunite them with the soul, all the ghosts. Now, amen, 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 amen. So, and especially, you know, he asked the ascension teams to also, you know, bring all the kids home from those stolen generations, you know, which we know about the Aborigines, let's say, of Australia or Native Americans, you know, or Holocausts, you know, mass events like that. There must be still lots and lots and lots of lost children and parents. So please, Heavenly Host, reunite them and bring them home to their high selves. Amen, 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 amen. And now ask whether you have trauma around being a surrogate, you know, the emotional pain and guilt of giving away a child that you gave birth to, but it's not yours, you know, by right by contract, let's say. Do you have trauma like this? Yes or no? And we ask the angels and healers to please transmute this trauma throughout time, dimensions, incarnations and places and bring soul fragments and ghosts home. Home to the higher dimensions, reunited with their soul. Amen, 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 amen. And now ask if you're still affected by any, or negative affected, by any contracts, vows, promises, or the likes that promise a baby to someone else after you have carried out to full term. And if it's affecting you, you know, maybe this case can be taken to the highest courts of spiritual justice and see if there was any cheating going on, facts that were not revealed. And we ask that it may be still cleared through our time, dimensions, etc. And that any ghosts that are trapped, please be released and brought home. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Now, do you have trauma with a you know, about being used as a baby-making machine. Yes or no? You know, this was slavery many times, or other breeding programs. <coughs> Even for farms, right? <laughs> so... <coughs> you have trauma of being a baby-making machine. Yes or no? So we again, we asked especially the goddess, to help you release this trauma, clear this trauma 
throughout time, incarnations, places, and dimensions. And also the trauma of those children that got affected by this. And bring any lost souls and soul particles home. Amen, amen, amen. And now a very obvious one. Do you still carry trauma from where you have rode in this lifetime or past lifetime? Not to have children ever again to the pain of childbirth or even of due to the pain of you know, a dead birth or of having to give up a child, yes or no? And so we asked again that this pain please be cleared through our time dimensions, incarnations and places. Amen, 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 amen. And now let's ask if you have trauma around where you promised that you wouldn't get attached to a child but then you did and then you know whatever happened and you got scarred emotionally yes or no and again we ask that this please be cleared especially also the heartbreak through our time incarnations dimensions and realities And do you carry trauma around lost children, sons especially, but also children, due to war, you know, getting slaughtered in the war? Do you carry trauma around this from this or past lifetimes, yes or no? And we ask that these, this please be cleared. Even when you did this also to others, maybe you slaughtered other people, as children. Of course, everybody has a mother. So in every warfare, you know, where we is killing, we kill people's mothers, people's children and grandchildren and have to face their scorn, their psychic scorn. And of course, it happens to us then too. So there's a lot of trauma around this war thing and losing people. So we asked for forgiveness of our sins there. And we forgive other people's sins there. So we asked for clearing of all incarnations, dimensions, places. realities now and we ask that any lost ghosts that are still looking for each other that are lost, traumatized be liberated and brought home to their high selves from their high selves Amen, Amen, Amen So again, separation, you know, to, to slavery. Did you have trauma from Egyptian, Roman, or Spartan, or other cultures, slavery? Separation from children, yes or no? And we like to have that cleared, you know, throughout the realities, amen. And also all the trauma from slavery breeding programs, amen. And now we move to another big part of life, the sex, you know. So are we carrying trauma from sex crimes, you know, where sex crimes were committed on us and where we committed sex crimes on others too. Yes or no?
And if yes, we ask for forgiveness and we give forgiveness. Ask if you have done it to others. Ask if it has been done to you. And then we ask for a clearing of all this trauma throughout time, dimensions, incarnations and places. And we ask that every ghost around there please be cleared and liberated. Amen, 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 amen. Now I ask whether you have any trauma from prostitution. You know, this could be a lot of cording or webbing, but also sexual disease and of course all the abuse and anger and frustration dumped into you. Do you have it, yes or no? And we ask that this please be cleared and transmuted through our time dimensions, incarnations and places. And where you have done it to prostitutes too, you know, please clear that too and ask for forgiveness. Amen, 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 amen. And any traumatized ghost and soul parts, we ask them to be released and brought home into heaven. Amen, amen. Now ask if you carry any guilt around or shame or other trauma around being a sex slave. Yes or no? Or having used a sex slave? Yes or no? And again, we give and ask for forgiveness and ask for clearing and to bring home of lost soul parts and ghosts. Amen, 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 amen. And now we ask whether you have guilt and other trauma around sexual orientation or sexual orientation issues where those clashed the society's norm or your own understanding about yourself and expectations. Are you carrying it, yes or no? And we ask for a clearing of all the shame and guilt throughout the timelines, incarnations, dimensions and places and that those that did not go home after death due to shame and guilt, please be cleared of that and welcomed by their high self and loved ones that have more wisdom. Amen, 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 amen. Now, are you carrying any guilt around sexual imbalances? Maybe too much libido, maybe not enough. So uh, other things, like fetishes, or any other trauma, maybe you were abused, abused around those issues. And we ask that this be cleared now, and any traumatized soul parts be also brought home. Amen, 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 amen. And now, whether you have any trauma around being what is called kinky, it's a pervert, perverted. Again, this has to do with social norms. Uh, yes or no? And we ask that this be cleared and any curses on them and spells and judgment also be cleared and they will come into heaven. Amen, amen, amen. Of course, throughout time, dimensions, realities and incarnations. Amen, 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 amen. 
and uh, is there any trauma around sexual adventures gone wrong? Right? This can be anything from STD to getting roughed up or getting killed or any other entanglement. So we asked for healing and clearing of this. And if there's any soul parts, lost fragments, please bring them home. Amen, 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 amen. And let's ask, do we still carry any guilt or bad trauma, karma around using people for sexual pleasure? Yes or no? And if yes, we apologize to those people. And we ask for blessings for them from the highest. We beg the highest to bless them. And to clear them from any trauma, cords, and other negative effects. And if there's any lost soul fragments or ghosts to breathe, bring them home. Amen, amen. And now ask if you have any shame or trauma or guilt about being used by other people for sexual pleasure, past lifetime, this lifetime, yes or no. And if yes, we ask it to be cleared and any soul fragments be liberated and sent home. Amen, 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 amen. And now ask whether you have any trauma or guilt from not honoring your sexual boundaries. Yes or no. And if yes, you know, we forgive ourselves and also those that violated our sexual boundaries. And we ask that this whole trauma either way in karma be cleared for the highest good and divine harmony with the most condemned outcomes. And any lost soul fragments be brought home, liberated and brought home. Amen, amen. And now we ask whether we have past lifetime or this lifetime trauma from sexual child abuse. And here we especially also ask Mother Mary to please help out and clear this trauma throughout time, dimensions, incarnations and places and help the stuck children, the soul fragments and ghosts, help them to come home, find their mothers, come home, go to heaven. Amen, 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 amen. And do you also carry any trauma around rape? being raped, yes or no. And we ask that this please be cleared. We forgive those rapists because it just ties us to them, incarnation after incarnation. Let divine justice take care of that. Yeah, we let go of this and if you raped yourself, we ask for forgiveness. We really ask for forgiveness. And we ask also that any soul fragments around these issues please be cleared, brought home. Amen, 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 amen. And 
And now, as this is going on, and there's probably a lot going on through this, we ask whether we have any conflict and trauma from past, you know, where we got raped, and whether we keep this child or not, right? Probably the way you look at it, you know, to keep the child might have proven wrong, or to not have the child might have proven wrong, right? This is probably like a lose-lose situation. So, but anyhow, you know, uh, do we have co trauma around this kind of situation? Maybe we were even, you know, children that were the result of rape, right? And then there was hate and disgust or something like this from the mother or others that knew about it. So we asked this trauma to please be cleared. And we asked for forgiveness where we perpetrated these kind of things. We ask that this be healed throughout all time, incarnations, places, and dimensions, and that any soul fragments be brought home. Amen, 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 amen. And now we ask, how much of the PMS pain or inconvenience, you know, is actually from us? you know, and not from um, the human females as a whole, right? So, you know, we probably have pain from mass consciousness and then we have pain from the individual history, past incarnation, this incarnation. So how much of your discomfort is coming from your personal history? How many percent? So now also ask, you know, of all the PMS trauma that you're having, how much is shared with the animal kingdom where you actually experience the pain of all those mothers that get their calves or babies taken away? to be slaughtered and eaten, all those sows, you know, all those animals that lose their children to humanity and are maybe not treated that nicely on top of it. So how much of your PMS trauma is actually a carryover, a karma, you could say, a payback um, from what we're doing to the animal kingdom, us now, amen. And we, uh, and whatever the percentage is, you know, this is time to apologize to those mothers for maybe having unnecessarily eaten, you know, their children, if you feel like that, you know, or maybe unnecessarily being cruel through the system that you support. So, but uh, let's ask that this please be cleared also for the animal kingdom and we thank them for their sacrifice throughout our incarnations, space, dimensions and localities. Amen, 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 amen. And now I will count to three and you will be back in vacant day consciousness. But first we thank all those beings that helped 
out and protected us and guided us in doing all this work of transmutation. So we thank all those beings and we ask that any portals or any other things should be closed. Please to close them or any energies that should be removed or any entities that should be removed by now, please be removed and cleared up. That any healing or empty spaces in our forest fields, please be filled with healing energies now in And I will count to three and you will be back at vacant day consciousness with your subtle bodies fully aligned and you will be full of energy and you will feel great. One, two, three. Welcome back. And so I hope you enjoyed this meditation and you feel lighter. So this is just a one shotgun type meditation and it will probably not ascend all of your ghosts and transmute all of your traumas. You know, much of the time you will have to do these guided meditations just like you would regularly take pills or teas, but maybe just, you know, in this case once a week. Mm -hmm. And the cleansing that you are going through will take its time. And for many of you, that will be a breakneck speed <laughs> and enjoy the ride like you would enjoy a roller coaster, right? You know, go wee, not <coughs> right? And it's the same ride, you know, the same price, yet different memories. So, you know, instant fulfillment would just overload you and most likely would be quite traumatic. You know. So there's also a lot of information density in this garden meditation. And so there's so much packed into this, you know, and your own spiritual guidance, you know, your own spiritual support team behind the curtain, you know, will adjust, of course, the impact, you know, it will have, you know, what is best for you. So, do not worry, you know. And many of you have issues that need to be looked at in greater detail, you know, before they can be released, you know. That is when a lesson or insight is needed, you know, before uh, the trauma can be transmuted. You know, you may put the meditation on pause and explore deeper, maybe use a pendulum, you know or just ask for the highest and most accessible guidance, you know, maybe through books, YouTube info, website, people, nature, and dreams, or much more, you know, just, just be open, you know. Of course, you can also treat yourself to a private session and cut right to the chase, you know, my prices are very reasonable, you know, and just send me an email and, uh, you know, the info is in the credits. And uh, so if you respond well to this uh, meditation, uh, like it, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, tell all your friends, uh, give us some feedback, you know. Uh, you know, it's good for other people to, to see what is going on, how others respond. And I love you. Namaste.